Okay, hi everybody again. This is video number two for the 6th of November 2023. So, a trailer, a person living in a trailer here, which is quite common these days. And, uh, got a rat problem. So I came yesterday, and of course, where the, the pipes are open here, this goes right into the floor, and I could see the rat sign in there. It's quite a big cavity in these trailers between the floor and the the underside here where all the pipes and wiring and everything. So I stuck a trap in here last night and it was sprung and cleaned off of the bait. So whatever it was got away. Had another trap under here under a trap box and it was not touched. And this is sort of making me think these rats have been in, from what she told me, the rats have been in this trailer for quite a while, even after she moved it from one spot to another. One property to another, they stayed in it, or a rat stayed in it. So, the trap under here didn't catch anything, but it's only been one night. And this trap, I've just rebaited and put in there, because it did get eaten by something, probably a rat, cleaned right off and sprung, but nothing in it. Okay, so, but this trap, uh, because that's just one opening under there. So I did stick a trap here under the second opening where someone else had put an old trap. And last night we got this guy. So that's good, that's good for one night. Uh, that's excellent to get one rat in a situation like this because it's not easy trapping. There's not much room to put a trap there. And, uh, but we got this guy. I've got traps inside as well. Let's go and see if we got anything in those traps. I got, uh, because there's rat sign in one of the cupboards in here. And she said she's heard them in the cupboards and also in the ceiling. But, um, and so wherever there's rat sign, it pays to stick a rat trap. Uh, because where they do poop, they usually return to that spot. So, let's look under here. I've got two traps under here. I set two traps under here last night. And nothing. That trap has not been touched. And you can see the rat droppings in there. Down there, that trap has not been touched. So, I've got a mouse trap in there. So that rat that we just caught on the outside there, could well be the only rat we're dealing with here because right from the beginning from what she described to me I got the feeling we were dealing with just one rat and one rat by itself will certainly uh, will certainly upset a trailer home like this no trouble no trouble so Part of the job of a rat catcher, a major part of the job is climbing over junk, people's junk, and climb over it. So that trap has not been set off either. My headlamp's letting me down. It always does this. Whenever I carry my spare headlamp, it doesn't, this one works fine. When I don't carry my spare, he spare headlamp, this one breaks down. Okay, so this trap has not been touched. Okay, so, but it's only been one night, so we'll leave everything set like it is for about another week or so, just to make sure. But I think it was just that one rat we were dealing with because, as I said, one rat, uh, even a medium-sized rat like that one we caught, one rat will keep a trailer quite disturbed for sure. But we'll leave all the traps in place for another week and then uh, see what we catch, if we catch anything else. Okay, so and that's pretty slick, pretty good for one night. Cut a rat and uh, so now we'll rebate this trap and stick it back in its little place up in here. Bit of blood there where he got caught. He got stuck on at least one nail. Bled out. That's good. I'm very happy with the results of that. Because as I said, I think it's just been one rat in there. 
Okay, so thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and liking and good trapping, everybody.